North American Fishing Club social media editor Greg Huff here with a man who needs no introduction, KVD. Pleasure to meet you. You bet, man. Good to see you. Exciting here, man. We got a lot going on here. A lot going on. A lot going on. We're here at the Mustad booth and uh, you've got some new uh, products here. The big thing we, we try to do is, you know, come out with stuff that, that's going to help you catch more fish, you yep. know, and the hook is that direct link. You know, last year we introduced the KVD Elite treble. It's an extra short shank, extra strong, wide gap treble so that you can put, you know, one size bigger hooks on, on your baits. Well, it was super successful for us. It's a hook. I mean, I've won two classics in a row with it, uh, you know, two angler of the years in a row with it. What we wanted to do was kind of expand that whole series so that no matter what lure you have, we've got the perfect treble for it. So we came out with a longer shank version in the standard wire, a longer shank version in the heavy wire. So whether you're throwing jerk baits in top waters that, you know, the balance of a suspending jerk bait is so important. If you put too big a hook or too heavy a hook, it makes it sink. So we got the perfect hook for a lot of these other baits now too. We also came out with a new round bend version. A lot of people like that style. So we've got the perfect ultra point treble for any crankbait or any hard bait out there now. Now I understand that not a lot, not, <coughs> Not just catching fish, you're a whiz at taking off, uh, taking off uh, trebles and putting them back on again. <laughs> I, I, I literally don't fish a bait that doesn't have one of these on it. So in a year's time, I change thousands. And uh, I've got a system that works real good, and uh, it's pretty amazing. You know, I end up changing a lot of them for a lot of my friends. They're like, how do you do that so fast? But <laughs> I, I've been doing it for so many years, and uh, you know, I'm just fanatic about, about that. You know, I mean, uh, the ultra point trebles are. Uh, it, it just makes such a difference. You know, the, the biggest thing nowadays is that everybody's hook is sharp. I mean, you pull them out of the package, it doesn't matter what brand it is, everybody's got a sharp hook. The, tr the trick is, is getting one that when you're grinding the crankbait into a shell bed, into the sand, and the gravel, to stay sharp. Most other companies, you make three casts on a shell bed and your hook point's rolled. An ultra point is designed differently so that it's going to stay sharp. So, you know, that's, that's, the, that's what really sets these apart and makes a big difference. Because as you know, you, you lose one fish in a tournament that I'm fishing, it, it can cost you yeah. thousands and thousands of dollars. So everything that you can do uh, to do a little better job is something I want to do. And that's what an ultra point does and it's why it's the, the best treble on the market. You're known for, for crank baiting, and like you said, you you want to drag it right, you want to bring it and, and run it right through the rocks or the, or the grass, wood, rocks, whatever, man. I think some of uh, some of us guys that have to to buy our own lures, you got a twenty dollar crank bait, you get a little bit nervous about fishing a an eight foot crank bait in six feet of water, but that's that's the key, right? You got to be contacting the cover with it. I mean, that deflection and that erratic erraticness is what triggers the bass. So if you're not throwing it in the cover, you're not catching as many as you could be. Case in point, the classic stumps. Yeah, I mean, we're throwing that square bill, which has got a lot of erratic action just when it's going through the water column. But when you hit a stump, I mean, that was key, is making sure to hit the stump with it, you know, bounce it off that stump, crash it into it. That's what triggers, you know, erratic movements is what triggers prey, you know, to, to move off real quickly and a bass or a muskie or a pike or anything like that to eat it. You know, they're looking for a bait fish that they can catch. And when it moves like the rest of them aren't, right. that's what they're keying on. So They see that and that's something different. Yep. Bang. Back-to-back -back classic, back-to-back -back anglers of the year. What What's there left to do? I'm going to keep, <laughs> keep trying to do it, do it again and again, you know I mean? I've been on a really good roll. Um, you know, I've got a lot of confidence in, in the products and the in the techniques that I fish and the style that I do it. And um, you know, I've been on a good run. You, but I know I know that all good things come to an end. But I'm gonna do my best to to keep on going. You've got quite the class of rookies this year that were hot on your heels. Oh, there's a you know so many good fishermen now. The the thing that's different now is the internet. I mean, there's so much more information available. The products are so much better. Our electronics, all our gear. I mean, just like the hooks. I mean, right. compared to five years ago, everything is so much better. It's more technical and it's available. That information is available to everybody. So the learning curve is a lot quicker. Well, thanks a lot. You bet, man. I appreciate your time. Good luck. Thank you. Take care. Stay tuned for more videos just like that. For North American Fishing Club, I'm social media editor Greg Huff. See you later.